drive back from holiday. Yes, it was amazing. Yes, I'd rather be there than here. And no, I don't want to talk about it. A few meaningless, tedious, and outright boring bits of business to get out of the way first. I'm thinking of live streaming again. It's kind of fun. It gives you peasants the chance to bask in my golden glory. If you'd like to do that, hit me up on Twitter or leave a comment. It'll mostly be fun, large party game type stuff as DDoSers tend to go after me if I put my sweatpants on. They make the crucial mistake of thinking I'm somebody important who needs their income put in jeopardy. Jokes on them, I'm a fucking nobody. Wait a minute. In any case, I don't want to give the hairy palm tiny dick virgins the satisfaction. So if playing for this strange thing called fun is your thing, then by all means let me know. Right, straight onto the subject. All opinions are not born equal. It's a sad fact, but true, but I'm sick of seeing friends and co-creators having to talk to the great unwashed as if they're equals. They're not. Here's the truth. People who have an opinion about art or videos or anything creative need to understand that their opinion is just not worth as much as those people who make it. I can see you rabid, entitled, ignorant little shits virtually destroying your keyboards in response. So I might as well go for the throat. I just don't respect you as much as people who stick their neck out and actually make something. This isn't only about YouTube. It's the same with film, music and games. In fact, every creative pursuit. It takes bravery to make things. There is a vulnerability to putting yourself out there that only creators understand. Without that crucial knowledge of just how hard it is to try and make something good, your opinions are kind of worthless. When you're a creator and you shape an idea, execute it as well as you can and put it out into the real world hoping that some people will like it, it's like a tiny part of you left to the mercy of the public sphere. Most of the time there will be someone who shits on you, finds fault and tries to justify their blind hatred with varying degrees of crude logic. I don't mean to be a dick, but I'm probably smarter than you, Mr. Hater, and here's why. I'm the one making the video and you're the one watching it. Our opinions are not equal. The greatest intellectual sin someone can do is pretend that they know something when they don't. We only begin to become intelligent when we face up to the grand vistas of the gaps in our knowledge. Yeah, Aristotle, bitch. Come at me fam, you got nothing.